This is the Ministry of Defender AC kit for the 300 TDI. This was their complete kit. So this was the air compressor and the bracket. Um, so here's the bracket. I had issues installing it. It was sort of difficult to figure out and make work. The belt they supplied was, in my opinion, way too short. So I got a longer belt and have the bracket in the most extended position. Um, I found that the, let's call it the belt tensioner, um, had issues where it was interfering with a bolt on the compressor. So I had to notch that out to, to make it work and it all works great. The compressor is far enough over on its axis that the studs on top there uh, don't interfere with the bonnet. So, and, and here's the lines that I've run. These are the hoses that were supplied. These are standard sized AC hose lines. They are much larger than the reduced barrier hoses. Um, I much would have preferred those. They would have been easier to run. They'd be more flexible. But once you remove the air intake box, the factory one from Land Rover, uh, you've got all this room and it's basically like a giant trough to run all this stuff through. So took advantage of that. Um, so coming out of the suction line, which is the heavier of the hoses, it comes off of here. Um, and I tucked it in front of the radiator overfill and behind the fuel filter. Um, and then back in and towards the headlamp. And down and you can see it's really like you working with these larger hoses is really kind of complex and pain to work with. I mean, the tolerances are really tight. It will work, um, but it is an unnecessary struggle. So coming out of the condenser, I've got a, it's a smaller hose. Uh, it's a number eight. So it's easier to run and that comes down and it, it goes into the air dryer, which is I mounted in the factory location where Land Rover, using their AC kit, would have mounted it. It's essentially, if the vehicle were right-hand drive, it's where the steering box would be. So I had to modify that bracket to utilize um, the existing holes in the frame. Meant like welding one hole and re-drilling just to make sure that the two holes lined up. It's fine. It's you know I, the kit is okay it's it's could be engineered better um but i do much prefer the kit to the land rover one so you can see here also the return out of the air dryer the hose takes a tight bend there um there is a fitting that has about an i think a 130 degree bend in it this one here it would have been nicer if i were buying the hoses and fittings myself and using I, that is the only one that I would have replaced with a different fitting that is not supplied with the kit. Um, it's just a small detail. Anyways, that stuff then comes up and it runs back in through over the wing in that trough and uh, into the box. I mean, this is just a simple, this is how I ran the hoses for the AC line. Um, for the hot water, I did not use the hose that they provided. Here you can see are the factory OEM in and out hoses for the engine. And then these are um, hoses that I bought from my local auto parts store. These are pre-molded hoses that just worked a lot better. Um, and you can see down in here, I have the valve that controls the hot water flow from the engine. That essentially is what turns the heat off and on.